welcome back to my channel. I have for you today a Slimming World update. This is actually two weeks combined into one because I didn't get round to doing it last week, but I hope you enjoy. So I'm just gonna make this really, really short and sweet this week, mainly because I'm sulking about it. I'll get straight in there and say that I weighed myself um, last week, never got round to doing the video because the week just ran away with me and I had last week lost a pound. I was okay with that. To be honest, I would have liked a little bit more because I felt like last week I had really knuckled down and tried. It's always a bit of a risky one, isn't it? When you have a slightly less of a loss than you think that you deserve or that you were expecting, you have a little bit of a wobble. Well, that's what I'm finding. I have a little bit of a wobble and it affects the following week and that's, that's what's happened a little bit this week. So this week I weighed myself on Monday. I'm filming this on Wednesday. Um, I weighed myself on Monday and I have put on three pounds, uh, which I am so upset about. <laughs> so upset about. Um, I wasn't even gonna film this, if I'm honest. When I got on those scales on Monday morning, I was not inspired to film this, and then I thought, no, I am gonna film it. Um, I've said before, it's not just all positive, positive. If you get a dodgy week, then I'm still gonna stick an update on. So basically, I have been racking my brains as to how I could possibly, possibly have put on three pounds in one week. Now, obviously I had a little bit of a wobble after last week. It didn't help not doing the update. It also didn't help that it's just things like slackening slightly. It's no one big deal. Like it's no one, I totally fell off the wagon any day. It was just little things. Like I went to my brother's for breakfast. He did our family breakfast one morning and he did eggs benedict and served it up and i just thought oh i'm not sure about the sauce i'm not sure about the muffin and i just did like a quick tally up but i'm not one of those people even when i'm doing cinema that can just sit there and say oh um no thanks i just feel like it's really rude and it's not something that i want to do i don't want to not join in and i know i probably should just say that but i don't want to be that person and i especially don't want to be that person when i've got young kids that are watching me my brother served up breakfast so we all sat and ate breakfast and it wasn't like a big deal but it's little things like that and then he bought out a tray of pastries afterwards with coffee and when i'm absolutely on it i would just refuse the pastries because it's fine i've already joined in with breakfast it's not a, a big deal but it like my daughter wanted a pastry I cut her a bit off and then I just finished the rest just chatting away and just eating this croissant which I did probably not even really want it's not even about needing it I probably just didn't want it really um and I ate it anyway and that really annoys me I don't have any self-control at times there's certain times when I just don't so it was that it was going out for coffee with friends and I would normally choose a like a Americano with milk with semi-skimmed or skimmed milk I didn't, I chose a latte. It was just a kind of knee-jerk reaction. What would you like? Oh, a latte, please. And it wasn't until I was sat down and I thought, oh, I've got a latte. I don't normally have that. I have no idea what, what sins are in a latte, really. Like, do they all vary on the side? It was a medium, like a cost one. I've no idea, but anyway, the damage is already done. Um, so yeah, it was just, it was just a week like that, really. I haven't done a lot of walking this week because it's been pouring with rain. Every single day we've woken up and there's been a reason that we haven't walked the school run. And again, at three o'clock, like without fail, it's pouring with rain and just, you know, it, it's just been that week where everything's a little bit more tricky. Like my daughter's not awake in time to walk to school. So I'm turfing her out and quickly driving around. And it really is absolutely unbelievable how just not doing those little walks have made such a big difference. The only other thing that I have been thinking about is that I haven't been able to shift this coldy cough virus and I was put on steroids this past week. Um, and I was speaking to my mum about it and she sort of said, well, maybe that's affected your body in some way because a three pound gain is just such a lot, isn't it? It's not a pound or so. You can kind of think, mm, yeah, maybe, but three pounds? So I'm trying to think like the combined thing of not walking, having the steroids and just saying yes to a couple of things that I shouldn't have done. And anyway, that's resulted in three pound gain. <laughs> so, talking about it anyway what is it it's wednesday today when i'm filming this so i've just got back on it again this week and i'm hoping that i can turn it around it's just annoying isn't it because to lose three pounds takes longer than putting it on food wise this week i won't talk too much about last week because obviously it wasn't a great week so i haven't got an awful lot to say about what i would 
like what I did. It's worked for me because um, it hasn't really worked for me. So I'll talk about more of this week. I've got my meal plan here. I'm just gonna try and stick with lots of water, lots of fruit, veg, and oh, lots more walking. So I quickly just talk through the meal plan. Um, I'll start with yesterday. So last night we actually had I would describe it as rigatoni so it's pasta with a homemade sauce and i made the sauce up with ratatouille chopped tomatoes some paprika some garlic and i added a bit of cheese in but obviously took that out of my healthy a allowance it's great having two because i don't have to give up cheese i can have it almost every day then the kids and my husband actually had some of the smoked sausage in it so they kind of, that's kind of what made it the rigatoni i, I didn't have the sausage I literally just kept it as like a simple pasta with a fresh sauce, which I knew everything that had gone into it. I knew it was pretty low sin and it was filling and it was yummy. Um, so yeah, that was last night. And that one's nice because I can just kind of leave out the sausage if I don't want it. Uh, I'm still joining in with the family. And we're all eating together and that's what we like. We really, really try and eat with the kids when we can. Tonight, we've actually got a gusto box meal. We've decided we're probably gonna do them a couple of times a week for me and my husband. Um, I've said before, we try and eat as a family, but we're thinking that we could have two gusto boxes a week. The kids aren't particularly keen on the things we choose. So one of them we will always have on a Friday night, because that's our night anyway, and then one in the week. This week it's going to be tonight, and that's Wednesday, and it's actually like a chicken with cashew nuts and fried rice. I will just tweak it as I've done with other dishes, and just substitute the oils for the fry lights, and just basically just tweaking the gusto box to fit in with our requirements, and it works really well. It's very, very nice to know that the gusto box, like everything's sorted. I don't have to worry if I've got the right herbs, the right spices, this, 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 all these funny little ingredients that we don't normally have in the house. If anyone wants to try the gusto box, I've got a 50% off code. This isn't an ad at all. There's no collaboration with gusto at all. It's just that we are finding that it's really good. It's brilliant, it's fresh ingredients. You could choose what you want. You could tweak it to fit in with Slim and Wild if you're careful with your choices. I've got a 50% off code, so if anyone wants one, just message down below and I can pop it down there. That's 50% off for the first week and you can choose anything from like one to five or six boxes a week for two, three, four, five people. And then the remainder of the month, you can get 30% off if you want it. You don't have to sign up particularly. You can just do what you want really as and when. So if you want it, just message down below and I'm quite happy to share that code. So that's tonight. Tomorrow, which is Thursday, we are gonna have sausage, mash, veg and gravy. I've got some low sim sausages and again, that's one that we can do all together, which I'm quite pleased about. Friday, we've got chicken enchiladas. Again, that's our gusto box. So the kids will have something different that night and we can make them nice and spicy. That's one that I chose. And again, I will just tweak it to be similar and friendly. And we'll have a big pile of salad with that on the side. Saturday's a funny one because we're actually at a party and I'm never really sure, you never know with kids' parties, if the kids are being fed, if the adults are being fed, like we've been to all sorts of parties. So obviously the kids will be fed anyway at lunchtime. So for Saturday night, I'm either gonna do a Spanish omelette that we can all have um, and just chuck in everything that's left over in our fridge, like cheese, ham, tomatoes, peppers, potatoes, and some fry light. So yeah, we'll either do a Spanish omelette or some jacket potatoes with different toppings and just stick them in the middle. I'm undecided, I'm gonna play it by ear, see what the kids have had at the party, how hungry they are, yeah, and just play it by ear. And then on Sunday, we will do a roast of some sort, probably just stick with beef or chicken. And that is everything. I will stick with that plan. I haven't actually done a proper shopping food haul this week. Because we've got the gusto boxes, we're trying to see if we can just do just a small top-up shop on the weeks that we've got it, just to see how we get on. And it's working okay. So I've just been popping to the shop and just stocking up on the essentials, bread, milk, fruit, bits like that. So yeah, I haven't got an actual food haul coming this week. I'm gonna have a week off and see if we can save a little bit of money. I'm gonna stick with the food plan and uh, see how I go, really and hope that I can shift some of this three pound that I've put on. So I've got here, I've done it for this week. So basically I've put on three pounds, but I've put it as two because last week I had lost a pound and obviously didn't film the video. Then I've put on three, so I put it as two. So I'm up to date with how I've done with my weight loss. So I put on two, so now I have lost half a stone, seven pounds. It was on nine, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> seven pounds and obviously a big five stone weight loss. So that is up to date now. I will go and hang that in our little utility room where I can see it. And yeah, sending lots and lots of luck for anyone who's doing any sort of slimming plan as well. And I hope it's going okay for you. If you'd like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, that'd be great. I'm on Instagram with the name mama underscore hedgehog two, and also on the lovely channel mum with the name mama hedgehog. Have a lovely rest of your week and I'll see you all soon.